ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the channel welcome back to UEW season two this is week one people happy new year to you we are live in Hartford Connecticut for the first week of UEW action I am ready to get it underway first matchup on the card for you here tonight none other than Diesel versus the reigning Golden Era champion Randy Savage. It should be a good one. Size difference may come into play. But if you know anything about the Macho Man's heart and determination, he should be able to hold his own in this match, if not win. As you people check out the new arena, I am glad you have joined us here tonight. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Detroit, Michigan, weighing in at 317 pounds, Big Daddy Cool Diesel. The big man is new to UEW, but you know he is coming in here. Wanting to get his hands on another championship, former champion himself, WWF champion. But Big Daddy Cool may have his hands full here tonight, rhyming accidentally. Against the Macho Man Randy Savage. The man that is reigning over the Golden Era as we speak as its champion. Couldn't quite get the job done last year, but nevertheless, he is back for UEW Season 2. I'm glad you have joined me as well. And there he is. He is the Golden Era Champion. Randy Savage is ready to capitalize on another year in UEW. You know he wants to stay the champion. Of course the champions will all come out with their respective belts. Showing and proving that they are indeed the best in their era. But Savage has to Continue his winning ways here in UEW like he did last year in order to keep that belt because if he drops in the point standing and doesn't make the playoffs that belt will be vacated and be awarded to the winner in the playoffs of the Golden Era matchup. But that's further in the future and down the line right now we got a good match kicking off UEW season two for you. Diesel Savage let's go. The referee rings the bell of course. Quick lockup. Savage floats over. Diesel gets out of it. And a big atomic drop to Savage right off the back. Big Daddy Cool Diesel. Standing around seven feet tall. This man could be a force to be reckoned with in UEW this year. I just rip off the rope. Oh, and a big back elbow from Savage. You got to know the experienced veteran Randy Savage. He knows all the tricks. Big Daddy Cool. Towering in size over Savage. Big clubbing blows to the back. He's going to lift Savage up. Drops him face first in the turnbuckle. And he thinks that might be enough. One. Savage kicks out at one. Skin people, tell me what you like about UEW. How do you like the new arena? We had to do it big this time around. As Diesel locks in a claw hold on Randy Savage, but Savage gets out of it, sweeps the leg. He's one of keeps. He has to keep Diesel at a horizontal base here. Can't let the big man get up. 
And now Savage going for a pin. Doesn't even get a one count. Oh, the big elbow. Savage going for a pin quickly. Right again, one. Trying to get this one over as soon as possible. And get himself two points. Oh, the big DDT from Diesel. And Savage rolls to the outside. And Diesel is going to take some time to taunt to the fans. Savage tried to hit him with a club. And blown up. Stiff shot. Knocks Savage out. One. Two. Oh. That was almost it. Diesel cannot believe it. He thought that was it. Savage with a reversal. Savage with a clothesline. Takes Diesel off his feet. Diesel once again right back on the attack. Gets out of it. Stiff shots to Savage. He's on the ropes. Diesel picks him up. Drops him gut first. Driving all the air. Out of the Macho Man. Now Diesel with those patented elbows. Right to the side of the temple and drops Savage down. And now Diesel possibly looking for that jackknife powerbomb. Can he hit it? He's got Savage. Has him up. Oh, the Savage with the big reversal. Almost an X-Factor like face buster. From the Macho Man. He's going to go for the stump puller. And try to get the big man to submit, but he can't lock it in fully. Stiff shot once again from Big Daddy Cool. Irish whip to the corner. Close line to the back of the neck. Savage playing possum, perhaps. Now the macho man with the hangman's neck breaker. And now the Macho Man is going to go to the top. Possibly looking to fly here. There it comes. The elbow drop connects. And that might be it, people. One. Two. But Diesel gets the shoulder up at two and a half. Savage thought he had it. But Savage, wait a minute, Savage going back up. Can he hit another one? Oh, he went for a body splash. But Nash got the knees. But Savage right back on the attack. Nash a little too slow. Close lines on the back of the neck again. Savage is rolling right now. Diesel is really old, buddy. The strength of Diesel just pushes Savage down. Oh, and another stiff shot. Savage is out. But Big Daddy Cool doesn't want to capitalize. That could come back and haunt him. Be a mistake. But wait a minute. It may not be a mistake. Picks him up. Jackknife powerbomb. School is out, folks. This one is over. One. Two. Oh, and Savage gets the shoulder up. And now Diesel cannot believe it. These two men have eaten at you, each other's moves and have kicked out. This is the first action of season two we were seeing in standard matches, and it already has been good so far. Big Eldro drop from Diesel. Savage with the counter. And I think the first man to hit their next finishing move may win this match. And Savage going to the middle rope. Calling for Diesel to get up. Crowns him at the top of the head. Working over that arm of Big Daddy Cool. And now Savage going back to the top rope. Possibly looking for the elbow drop one more time. And he... No! Nash moves out of the way. But Savage right back on the attack with a reverse elbow. I mean reverse. <laughs> reverse DDT. Savage with a pin. One. And Big Daddy Cool still has a lot left in the tank as he powers out. 
at the count of one. Stiff shot to Savage. Wait a minute. I think he may be going for it again. Savage is up. Jackknife. That's got to do it. One, two, three. And Big Daddy Cool knocks off the Golden Era champion in his first match in UEW. This man may be a force to be reckoned with in UEW. Makes it look almost easy. Saying that it's time. It's about time that he gets his hands back on some gold. Diesel, your winner in the first match of season two. Well, people coming up next, you see one of the new faces, another new face around here in UEW, the man Ahmed Johnson faces off against the champion of the Attitude Era, the Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michaels. This one should be a doozy. Let's find out what happens next. More action for you on the way here in UEW and here comes that man Ahmed Johnson. The brute powerhouse Ahmed Johnson making his debut in UEW tonight. You got to know this man is ready to do some damage. In this era, in this competition, in this company. The question is, can he get the job done? He had a pretty stellar career. Now he is looking to get himself some gold. But here comes the man. Championship firmly around his waist. Shawn Michaels was a huge pick last year that people thought that would take it all and win the Ruler of Era Championship. But it was not meant to be. But nevertheless, here he is back once again in UEW like only the showstopper can do, can be. And maybe luck will smile on him this year. And maybe he'll find himself back in the postseason and possibly get his hands on that road championship. But here we go, Ahmed Johnson, Shawn Michaels. We got a tie up. I don't think Shawn Michaels is going to want to match the brute strength of Ahmed Johnson. This man is a powerhouse. But maybe some technical wrestling. Sean and his speed. He's going to have to utilize his speed during this match. Irish whip. Oh, I may have tried to go for something, but Sean, that's why I said that speed. Now Sean goes behind with a hammerlock. Ahmed Johnson, over 300 pounds, brute muscle. And there we go. Look at the strength already and just drops Sean over his knee. Now he's going to stop on the arm of Shawn Michaels. Ahmed Johnson shocked the world back. Wait a minute, we got a quick cover here. One. Shawn Michaels kicks out at one. Johnson shocked the world when he turned heel and joined the Nation of Domination. Turning on the Undertaker. Quick moves. Shawn tried to go for belly to belly, but no. Sean has to know he can't. This man is a powerhouse. 
Oh, and a stiff shot knocks Sean off the apron. Ahmed Johnson is rolling here. Oh, Ahmed taunting a little bit too much of the crowd. Here comes Shawn Michaels. Stiff shots. Oh, but Ahmed blocks it. Now Ahmed turn it. Oh, he drops Shawn to his knee. One shot. One shot. Oh, the big back elbow from Shawn Michaels. Remember, people, count-out rules still do apply. If you lose, or if you win by count-out, I should say, you only get one point. It's called taking the coward's way out, but a win is a win. Oh, and a big clothesline, and there goes Ahmed Johnson flying to the outside. Now HB Shizzle going to bring Ahmed back in the ring. Doing some more damage, keeping him horizontal for the moment. He may want to work on those arms. Ahmed Johnson with an arm breaker of his own. Shawn Michaels too quick and a big DDT. And there's a pin. One. But only gets a one count. Shawn Michaels doesn't need to waste his time taunting. He needs to stay on this man. And another clothesline. And Shawn Michaels... As Ahmed Johnson floundering out of here on the outside, running all over this ringside area so far. Ahmed opts to get back in the ring. Tries to go for a shot and another TDT. And Michaels tuning up the band. And yes! Sweet Chin Music connects. Could this be over already? One, two. Ahmed Johnson gets the shoulder up. And now Shawn Michaels going for that figure four leg lock. But didn't really do too much damage on it. Now Ahmed Johnson back to his feet. He's going to have to do some, put in some work here. This has been all Shawn Michaels so far. HBK with the reversal. Kick. And another DDT. And Ahmed Johnson is busted open. Sweeps the legs. Sharpshooter about to be locked in. Will Ahmed Johnson tap out? But no, he is in the ropes. And now Shawn Michaels set it up. Super kick. Sweet chin music again. This one's over, folks. One, two, three. All HBK in this match. Shawn Michael showing and proving that he is ready to get back to the postseason. Looking in peak form here tonight. Quickly dispatching of Ahmed Johnson, the newcomer to UEW. Coming up next, people, as you can see on your screen, Daniel Bryan, the PG Era champion, goes one-on-one -on -one with the, <laughs> the man, the legendary. Goldberg is here in UEW to wreak havoc. It may be old man Goldberg, but it's still Goldberg. Let's see what happens. What a night it has been so far in UEW. Daniel Bryan came close last year to winning the Ruler of Eras Championship. He was the only other man in the match that scored a pinfall or submission. 
but could not get the job done himself either. But nevertheless, he is the PG area era champion, and he's got a tough task here tonight. You may say he's even the people's champion right now. As the chance start already. Goldberg, also a newcomer to UEW. This is going to be a great match right here. Once again, we got brute strength versus speed. But Goldberg has enough speed on his own. This man is... I don't even know what to even call him. The type of athlete that this man is. It's uncanny. It's unusual, folks. Even in old age... He still got what it takes. And it's only a matter of time to see how he will do in UEW. The fans are on their feet. You hear the chants. People may question why I put him in the PG era. He is still wrestling today. That's one reason. But the other reason is because he would have went in the Ruthless Aggression era. But the problem with that is, is that the Ruthless Aggression era was already filled up. So I could not. And I wanted Goldberg in this season. So he was in the PG era. As old man Goldberg. <laughs> as Daniel Bryan with the Dragon Screw. Gonna work over the legs of Goldberg. Daniel, Br Daniel Bryan is a ring tactician. He knows every inch of that square circle. And he knows how to break his opponent down. And now Goldberg going to show off some of the strength. Slamming Daniel Bryan down. Goldberg picks him up. Tossing Daniel Bryan all around the ring. Here comes Daniel Bryan back up to his feet and clotheslines Goldberg over the top rope. In an instance in a case like this, you would think facing the opponent of this magnitude, a count out victory would suffice because at least you would get points on the board. But we know that is not Daniel Bryan's forte. This man is a wrestler. He is a grappler. He's going to want to beat Goldberg in the middle of the ring, whether it be by... Pinfall or submission. These two men brawling, battling on the outside. Daniel Bryan kicks, punches. Goldberg runs back in the ring. He wants to win this match the right way. Daniel Bryan with a lockup. Has a leg uh, again. Another dragon screw. Daniel Bryan doing the right thing, trying to work over the lower base of Bill Goldberg. And now Irish whip to the rope. Daniel Bryan tries for hip tossing, gets it. Daniel Bryan showing off a little bit of strength here. And here come the yes kicks. Connects. I don't know what that was, but <laughs> oh, in the no sell from Goldberg, it seems like he pops right back up with the reversal. Daniel Bryan escapes Goldberg for the moment. Another shin kick and a Northern Light suplex. 
The bearded one. Working over the arm of Goldberg now. He tries to snap it in half. Here comes Brian. Power trip to the rope again. Comes up. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> I'm sorry, people. What? <laughs> the strength of Daniel Bryan. What the pop? A pop-up yes lock. Oh, my goodness. I told you. UEW action, people. UEW. Misses the elbow drop from the top rope. Goldberg with a takedown a roll-up. Oh, the big European uppercut drops Goldberg down. Daniel Bryan going for a cover. Referee way out of position. One. And only gets a one count. Daniel Bryan right now probably thinking, what does he have to do to put this man away? And he has a dragon sleeper. And how is the referee is seeing whether a tap out will happen? I have no idea because he is facing the turnbuckle and not even looking in the direction of the wrestlers. Big kicks up. Wait a minute. Here we go. Yes, kicks again. It seems that Daniel Bryan may have Goldberg's number here. Straight kick to the temple. And Daniel Bryan once again. I don't know what that is, sir. Punch in the corner. I mean the ropes. Hangs him down. What's he going to do? Daniel Bryan. Head full of steam. Oh, and a drop kick to the back. Goldberg going to take some time. Get a breather. It's been all Daniel Bryan so far. Goldberg not looking good in his first showing. Trying to just get back in the ring. Get away from Daniel Bryan. Oh, and a big knee in the back. And now Daniel Bryan sizing Goldberg up. For the running knee. And that's got to be it, people. Here's the cover. One, two, and Goldberg kicks out. Daniel Bryan, frustrated, can't put this man away. So have to go back to the well. Let's see what he's going to do here. Stomps the knees down. The old man is looking defeated so far, but he can't do anything. Here we go with an arm lock. Fujiwara arm bar, maybe. Cross arm breaker. Locked in on Goldberg. Will he tap out? Fighting. Couldn't get anything done. To oh, the big slam. Goldberg explodes. Looking at Daniel Bryan. Sending him up for the jackhammer. He's got him up. Jackhammer connects. Middle of the ring. One. Two. Daniel Bryan gets the shoulder up. I think that might have been Daniel Bryan's. Last call, maybe. Goldberg now in a dominant position. Big clothesline. Ducks under. Back body drop. Goldberg fired up. Spine buster. Here's the pin. One. Two. Daniel Bryan kicks out. Daniel Bryan. The reversal. And here we go. Yes, kicks again. What a battle between these two men. Connects again. Daniel Bryan trying to pick him up, but Goldberg with a knee lift. Ooh, what a kick to the kidneys. Goldberg sizing up Daniel Bryan again. Jackhammer number two, possibly on the way. Lands it. One, two, three. What a match. What a match. Goldberg comes from behind. 
Daniel Bryan pretty much dominated the entire match. And Goldberg exploded out of nowhere with that first jackhammer. But it wasn't enough to put away the bearded one. Hits another jackhammer and puts Daniel Bryan out. Keeping with the theme of the night, the champion showcase. Our main event of the evening sees Big Show versus the <laughs> ruler. The ruler. The ruler of Era's champion. The rated R superstar Edge. Who is going to win this one? Man, I am so excited. I cannot wait. I didn't even know they called him Paul White in this. <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> so the big show didn't really do too well last season. And, and I think, well, I know that this giant is going to want to start off. Whoa! Start off well here in his first match in season two. But he has to go up against the man, the champion of it all. What is wrong with you, JoJo? Anyway, the Rated R Superstar out here tonight. Looks like he's just wearing his Eras Championship. Curious choice here for this man. I think he is anyway, isn't he? Yeah. They need to bring back, like, dual championship entrances. That's one thing I will say that they need to do. They haven't done that in a while. But nevertheless... Edge wearing his garb from last season's pay-per-view in which he won. I guess he want to keep the mojo flowing properly. But here we go. Big Show. Irish. Oh! Big Show showing off the strength earlier. Now these two are going to fight on the outside. Edge took a couple of count-out victories last season. But the man, the superstar of the year, the overall champion, ended up with the belt. Everybody fell behind in that match early when Daniel Bryan got the first submission victory. But then Edge won two straight to win the championship last season. But right now, the Big Show is doing work. Referees at a count of seven, they need to get back in the ring. And Edge runs away and quickly gets, oh, he breaks the count and comes back out. He wants more. Now the Radio Superstar going to take Big Show. Puts him back in the ring. Oh, and a big boot. Kick straight to the side of the head. And here comes the Radio Superstar. Oh, and a big boot once again. Edge. Oh, the big DDT to the Big Show. Big Show is reeling right now. Edge quickly right back on the attack. But no, Big Show with reversal. And now clotheslines Edge over the top rope. And the Big Show. Big Show's on the top. The Big Show is on the top rope. No. <laughs> he completely misses. I think he may have blown out a knee. Neckbreaker from Edge. Why would he ever attempt anything like that?
The Big Show may have blown out his knee. Nah, he looks like he's moving kind of fine on it now. <laughs> but, oh my gosh. What a maneuver. One. And after all that, he missed. Big Show showing the strength to follow away slam on edge. Trying to work out the kinks in his shoulder. Maybe he tweaked something. I don't know what he tweaked. I thought he blew out a knee from the way he fell. We don't know what the injuries could have shaken up. This man could, I don't know, but he looks pretty fine right now on it. And the Cobra Clutch Backbreaker and tosses Edge to the side. He's looking pretty good right now, though. Here's a pin. One, two, and Edge kicks out at two, and the Big Show can't believe it. He thought it was over. And now I'm stalking Edge. What's he going to go for here? Radar Superstar blocks it. Spear! One, two, three! How is it that in season two, the spear is still the most deadliest move in UEW? Edge is on the, well he's already on the board, but he gets another win. The momentum continues here in UEW. What craziness is this? This is this is this is ridiculous. Nevertheless, Edge is your winner. Another two points on the board for the Ready R Superstar starting out hot already. And adding to the three points he already has, he already has a dominating lead. And the Ruthless Aggression Era. This man could be on his way right back to the finals. But ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining me for week one of UEW action in season two. I promise there's more hits on the way, more surprises, more crazy jumps from the top rope from super big men. But you got to tune back in to find out. Make sure you smack that like button on your way out. Thank you. For watching as always, keep God first and I will see you next time.